Hi, I'm Ingina James Okuri, the proprietor of James Okuri Technical Institute. Welcome to our channel. Hi, I'm Ingina James Okuri, the proprietor of James Okuri Technical Institute. And today we are going to be learning how to use timer. I have timer with me here. This is a timer. So we are going to learn how to use this kind of timer. So in this kind of timer, I see that uh, this is a timer coil and this is a timer base. So two of them together. So I will detach the timer. So this is the base where you do your connection. And this is the timer coil where uh, the, uh, uh, the terminals are housed so this is a, 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 tim a, a timer and this is the only timer so looking at this timer I see that uh, this is the connection diagram on the body of the timer looking at this see that this is the connection diagram on the body of the timer all right so let's go ahead and see how we can do uh, use this timer to connect things how we can use this timer so in this case I will uh, First of all, uh, check the terminals, show you the terminals and how they are. All right, so let's do it. So I will write timer, this is a timer. All right, so looking at it, I will uh, draw out the diagram on the body for you to see. So this is the diagram on the body of the timer. This is how it is. And uh, there is inner one, just like this. And the inner one has a key where you can uh, key in on the base all right so looking at it very well you see that uh, we have one on the, uh, the downside we have one and we have uh, eight all right then we have seven all right then we have uh, six and we have five and the other side we have uh, two we have uh, three and we have uh, four Alright, this is how the timer is. This is how the, the, the drawing on the body of the timer is. So looking at it very well, you see that uh, the the uh, the coil terminal of this timer is what? Two and seven. Two and seven. So this is two and this is seven. So this is the coil terminal of this timer here. And uh, here is written uh, the power. The power, that is the input of the timer. So looking at the timer very well, you see that uh, terminal number and uh, 8 is common because it's terminal number 8 is normally close to 5 and normally open to 6 so this is terminal number 8 that is uh, here all right that is uh, normally close to uh, uh, 5 just like this and the same terminal number this is normally open to terminal number 6 so it's open to 6 just like this. Alright, so looking at it again, you see that the terminal number one is normally uh, close to four and normally open to three. So this is terminal number one and uh, it's normally close to terminal number four and it's normally open to terminal number three. So this is how the uh, drawing of this timer is on the body of the timer and this is how the uh, connection the uh, drawing is but for us to rewrite this, for us to put this in a normal understanding way so we want to, us to understand it as the normal connection not as a diagram as it is so first of all let's analyze the diagram on this body on the body of the, uh, the timer looking at this timer this is how it is Looking at the timer very well, you see that what happened? That terminal number two and seven are the power input. This is the input where the input supply is. So what do we do? We represent it with a coil signal. A coil symbol, sorry, this is a coil symbol of a coil. So we say that this terminal and this terminal, this is the coil. So now we represent two and seven. So we say that this is two and this is seven. So this is the coil, just like this input two and seven. So when you look at it, you see that eight is normally close to five. The same eight is normally open to six. So what do we do? We write this is eight as the common and it's normally do what? Normally close to uh, five and normally open to six. So we write that this is eight and this is uh, five and this is six. 
Another thing, one is common, why? Because one is normally close to four, the same one is normally open to three. So we write one here, this is one, and this is the common, and one is normally close to what? Uh, four, and one is normally open to what? Three. So this is four, and this is uh, three. So we have uh, done the, we have uh, redrawn the diagram on the, di on the timer just like this to this for more understanding. So for you to understand it more, this is how it is. So for you to use this timer to connect anything, it means that you have to supply current to the coil of the timer, which the terminal is what? 2 and 7. And what? Before you can get output from any one, you have to supply current to the common, which is either 8 or what? 1. So this is how the diagram on this timer is, and this is how we redraw the diagram using this format. So now I want us to see how we can use this timer to control the contactor. So let's do it. Alright, so let's continue this process. So in this case now, I will show you how you can use it to control maybe a point of light, a point of light. So what I will do now is to draw as it. Before we continue this training, I want to give you a lovely gift. This is a practical book written by me, Be a Practical Electrical Engineer by Engineer James Okori, a book that will practically teach you all you have to know on solar energy installation, uh, CCTV camera installation, fire alarm system, automation system, building of industrial panel, control panels, and anything that concerns panel. All right, this book is powerfully written by me. It's a practical book that is written with step-by-step -step procedures that will teach you so many things. For you to know more about the book, the link is below the description box. Just go there, click on the link, and you will see all the course contents and everything that concerns the book. It's a practical book that I recommend to you today for you to get. Get this book. It's a practical electrical book. Thank you. So let's continue. So yeah, remember that timer as a component enables you to delay the load, to enables you to delay something before you can on or off. Time and delays before it can on and off, depending on the time you set it. Every time I must have a log whereby you do your settings. So this is the settings of this timer. This we are working on this timer. We have different kinds of timers, but you are working on this one to see how it works. So let's go ahead and use this timer to show the diagram on how you can use this timer to control a point of light. How you can use this timer to delay in order to on a light, in order to make a light to glow or shine. So let's go ahead and do it. Using this diagram, I will show you how to do the diagram using this uh, our symbol of the coil and all the rest of them. So let's continue. So first of all, I will uh, say that this is my source, the input source, 220 volts AC. So I will then say that this is my, uh, my timer coil. Okay, so this is two and this is what seven. So from the source, the life are neutral. So uh, this is life and this is neutral. So from this, I will connect my life wire towards the coil and connect this one towards the neutral points, which is uh, seven, two, and seven. Remember that I'm not minding any polarity wire because this single phase and this coil of timer 220 volts, so I can use any of the timer as life and neutral. So remember that this works like family, like eight, five, and six is one family, one, four, and three is another family. So anything that I'm dealing with eight, any terminal that I'm dealing in this family, I must use all of them. So I'm using eight, five, and six as one family here. So in this case, I will say that this is a okay, All right? So this is the family of eight, eight, uh, five, and six as one family. And uh, this is my bulb. Okay, I will use this as my bulb, as a symbol of the bulb. So I will say that this is bulb. Uh, and I'm trying to energize this bulb using this timer. So what do I do? I have to supply current to this 8 for me to get output from 5 or 6 and because I want to energize the bulb, I want to on the bulb, what do I do? I use normally open. If you want to off something, use normally close, but if you want to on, you use normally open. In this case, I supply current that the light wire that come from the source, I supply to 8. I can decide to take it from here, but this is the shortest route. Alright, in this case now, I supply to 8, meaning that 8 and 6 are normally open. So from 6, which is the output, I take it to the lamp then remaining neutral because this lamp requires neutral in order to function and because the neutral have already gone to 7 I take neutral direct from this 7 to this point in this case this is my, remain my life and neutral 
for it to, for this bulb to energize. What will happen in this case? Immediately supply gets to the coil of this timer, it will delay. Sometimes you can set it to 5 seconds, 6 seconds, 10 seconds or 1 hour, depending on the time you set it. And in this case, for example, if I set it to 5 seconds before this lamp will shine, it has to delay to 5 seconds. So this is a second timer and this is how I use the diagram on this timer to energize this bulb. And this is how you can connect your timer. You can use timer to control anything you want to control, be it machine, be it electrical motor, be it bulb, be it anything. As far as load this concern, you can use timer to do that. Even in contactors and anything you want to work with, timer enables you to delay something before you can get output. So you have to delay something before you connect. For example, if I want this bulb to delay like 5 seconds or maybe 10 minutes before it can shine so i have to set the timer at 10 minutes and with this i will once the uh, supply gets to the coil it has to delay to 10 for 10 minutes before this bulb will shine all right this is the simple way you can use this kind of timer to work and uh don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just click on subscribe and uh, uh, you get all our videos. And click on the notification bell so that anytime we post videos, lovely videos like this on YouTube, you always get all of them. Alright, I still remember my humble self in Gina James Okori. And thank you very much for watching.